<laughs> well, imagine that the home you live in is taken away from you so your city can build a mega complex of office space, retail stores, towers of condos, and oh yeah, maybe, maybe a professional basketball arena. Imagine no more. You'd probably be more than a little ticked off if it were happening to you. It is happening to my next guest. And go figure, he's more than a little ticked off if it's happening to him. And he's suing. Joining me now is Daniel Goldstein. He is leading what is now being called the Develop Don't Destroy Brooklyn Movement. By the way, we call the developer on the other side of this suit. No comment. All right, so you're angry. What, what are you going to do? Uh, well, we, uh, 10 plaintiffs, have filed a federal eminent domain lawsuit against uh, Governor Pataki, Mayor Bloomberg, to say that uh, the taking of my home and my neighbor's homes is unconstitutional. The use of eminent domain here is an abuse and unconstitutional. All right, so you had this condo, right? And you've had it for a few years. You actually rented it prior to buying it a few years back. So you like where you are? I like where um, I live very much, yes. Okay, so now what do the other residents in that in that building say, Dan? Well, the building's empty besides me. The developer bought everyone else out, but you have a... So you're the lone holdout. Well, there are 73 parcels, so there's a number of so-called holdouts. And as I said, there are 10 plaintiffs on the suit. They are tenants, homeowners, and business owners. Now, how much were you offered for your condominium? Well, let me say I'm not interested in an offer. Um, I'm not willing to sell my home under the threat of eminent domain, and especially an unconstitutional threat. So I was made right. an, so I, to, to have to make room for a basketball team doesn't matter. Not at all. The, the problem with this project, besides it's uh, premised upon an unconstitutional use of eminent domain, is that all of the the so-called benefits that it would bring could be achieved without using eminent domain at all. And that's why we feel that this is a land grab in order to benefit this private developer. All right, now the private developer has said, at least in prior instances, that this is for the whole uh, good of the area, that it's going to lift the area, lift interest in the area, lift the economy in the area. Um, what do you say? Um, that area of Brooklyn is a booming real estate market, and there is absolutely no need for public subsidies or eminent domain abuse in order to develop. Um, the benefits for the public are secondary to the benefits for the private developer, Forest City Ratner. All right, so the private developer is saying that it does benefit that secondary public market. You're saying it's just hogwash. Well, there, there's always going to be some benefit for the public when a project is built. But in this case, this developer came up with a plan to enrich himself and asked the state to take these properties uh, to enrich him. And that is not the intent of eminent domain. And therefore, this is an abuse of the Fifth Amendment. Um, finally, where do you see this ending up? I mean, they might have to heave you out of there physically. Well, they can only get me out of there if we uh, lose our suit, and we have a very strong lawsuit that will impact, by the way, the entire country. Uh, if we win this federal lawsuit, it will protect homeowners and tenants um, who are right now being uh, abused by eminent domain run amok. All right. Dan Goldstein, we'll see where this goes. Have you back whenever it's resolved legally. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.